How's it going folks? Welcome back to Talking Walls or welcome back to another transfer news and rumours update video. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a busy week folks. We're into the last week of the transfer window and of course more rumours picking up and there will be more every single day. These videos are going to go out of date very, very quickly and no doubt by the time I've uploaded this video there'll be new news or rumours uh, for new players or players that I'll speak about on today's video. So before we jump into it guys, firstly I'd like to say thank you so much. Um, I did mention it on a video a couple of weeks ago that we were uh, nominated for the FCA Awards, which is the Football Content Awards for 2021 and we've been announced today as a finalist. Uh, so we're in the final for that award. I'll leave a link at the top of the description. So if you want to vote for us again, there's loads of ways to vote on their website. If you're on Twitter, you could tweet a vote for us. Um, and if you're on Instagram, you could comment as well on a post. But all your votes, if you can spend a minute or so entering for us, obviously it does go a long, long way. But thank you so much for your support. And hopefully we can bring home uh, that award and trophy. But we're going to jump into the rumours today. A brand new, fresh rumour. Uh, today that broke by Football Insider, um, but it has been sort of backed up by many sources now. Uh, it's regarding the Welsh and Cardiff City striker Kiefer Moore. Um, Football Insider said it, uh, this morning that Wolves were considering a £7 million bid for the Cardiff striker. Now, did very well for Wales in the Euros as well. They, they did all right, didn't they, Wales, um, in the European Championships. And uh, Kiefer Moore has been a big part of that, and he scored loads of goals for Cardiff. I think he scored about 20 goals for them last season in the Championship. Now, uh, it's understood, uh, Wales Online put uh, earlier this afternoon that Wolves have yet to bid for Kiefer Moore, and it's understood Cardiff would probably want a little bit more, maybe an, an offer in the region of £10 million. Tim Spears today has also said that Wolves do have an interest in the Welsh striker, but again, no bid has been made yet. Listen, my opinion on this is that decent goal record over the last year or two, uh, a player that a sort of build and type that we've not had in recent years. He's six foot five. He's really well built, but for a player of his size, he's still quite quick on the ball um, and and just can accelerate quite well. And I think you watched that game against Spurs yesterday. We picked up the ball so many times in those wide areas, but didn't really have that option in the area. You got a bloke of his size in the middle of the box. You got a much better chance of scoring a, a few goals. The only concern for me is with this deal at twenty nine, does seven to ten million pounds. Um, give you that that sell on long term. I don't think he's going to be a player that you know you're going to get that money back on. But if you can squeeze three or four good years out to, out of him, which you possibly could, um, then maybe it's worth looking at. Of course, Cardiff City in the Championship at the moment won't want to sell, but a good price for them uh, is obviously going to be tempted. And Mick McCarthy, who is now the Cardiff City manager, has said that if there's a good price, he knows the club are going to be considering it. So definitely one to keep our eye on. This is an, it hasn't been really rubbished by anyone of note as of yet. So definitely uh, something in that one. Now the big news today, huge news regarding Adama Traore. First two games of the season, Adama Traore has arguably been the biggest talking point among Wolves fans, uh, both for his fantastic performances, but both for his not-so-fantastic moments in those games where he could have so easily won Wolves more points. Um, over the weekend, there was, there's been traction building and building about Tottenham Hotspur and former Wolves head coach Nuno being interested in Adama and wanting him uh, to go to Spurs. Uh, and like I said, there have been traction building and interest building and more and more news on it. And now over the last couple of days, the big sources, the reputable sources are starting to jump on it. On Saturday, it was said that Spurs by Sky Sports were considering a loan deal for Adama Traore, which sounded absolutely ridiculous. Uh, the only way, in my opinion, Wolves would agree to this was if it was a sizable loan fee and then a large um, option, obligation, sorry, to buy Adama Traore at the end of the season. Of course, Wolves or Ru uh, reports have said that Wolves value Adama at around £40 million, which is, of course, just over double of what they paid a few years ago for Adama Traore. Uh, but today it's really heated up and a lot of st uh, big 
Uh, big reporters and journalists jump on it. Last night it was John Percy, who was probably one of the most reliable uh, as it goes in regards to uh, football news in England. Um, he had said that Adama Traore is a very high on Tottenham's list and uh, they are considering a £40 million offer. Um, BBC, si, uh, Simon Stone had said Wolves are anticipating the offer. And Fabrizio Romano has reported saying that our talks ongoing between Spurs and Wolves uh, for a potential move for Tottenham Hotspur. Uh, Sky Sports again today uh, say, uh, talking about it, saying a loan deal is off the cards because, again, there's been more loan talk by the Telegraph today. Um, they even uh, hinted that maybe Spurs could look towards uh, structuring a deal similarly to how Liverpool did with Jota, which I'm sure a lot of Wolves fans um, will not be happy with. If you don't know, obviously Liverpool, when they signed Jota, did it in such a way that they paid just £4 million pounds or similar up front and have spread the cost of the Jota transfer over a number of seasons. That has even been touted today, which of course a lot of Wolves fans weren't happy with. But Sky Sports have said the lo a loan deal is not on the cards. Wolves will not entertain that and it would only take a significant a permanent deal to tempt Wolves to sell a Dharma Traore. Tim Spears has echoed that as well. It's got to be a big deal for to make this wo worth Wolves' while. In the last week of the window, Dharma Traore is one of the most unique football players on this planet. And to... I, I don't even think it'd be a case of replacing him like for like. I think you would have to pl bring in and use that money to bolster the team in different areas just to strengthen the team um, all the way across the field, really. So I expect this one, like I said, to have loads of traction and lots of talk about it over the next few days um, and, and the next week or so. But that could definitely go down to the wire. But it's genuine. There is genuine interest now for Spurs to sign Adama Traore by the end of the window. Uh, just having a quick look as well, there's not been much fresh news over the last uh, few days or so. Uh, one uh, in particular though is Kangin Lee, who we've spoken about on and off for the last few videos or so. Uh, it came from Spain, El Desmarc, saying that Kangin Lee has been handed a number of opportunities to leave Valencia uh, this week window and apparently he has batted a lot of those back it's for the Wolves and Monaco are among the teams that he's been offered and he has said no to so maybe Kangin Lee is off the radar don't be expecting him to join Wolves this summer Another one that came from the Telegraph on Friday was Adamola Luckman, of course, the winger, the English winger who's uh, played for a couple of English teams. He's currently, his parent club is RB Leipzig over in Germany. Um, but it said that Wolves and Crystal Palace are interested in Luckman, ideally on a loan deal. Um, but it said that Leipzig ideally would like to uh, let him go on a permanent deal. But we haven't heard any more on that as of yet. Of course, most recently at Fulham last season and to finish off Wolves have been linked with a couple of youngsters I know plenty of you will probably be sighing at your TVs your laptops your phones at this one uh, but linked with a couple of youngsters from Las Palmas over in Spain their duo Alberto Moliro and Ali Garcia um, Las Palmas president has said they, there is a pre-agreement in, uh, in place with a club uh, Wolves were said to have wanted the pair um, but it sounds like if something does get agreed between now and the end of the window it seems likely that Wolves will be loaning both of those players back to Las Palmas for at least a season. So I will keep my eye on that one to see if anything else develops over the next few days or so. But at the moment, it looks like Kiefer Moore and Adama Traore are the talking points. Tim Spears has said today, Wolves are hoping it's going to be a busy week with centre-back, central midfield and a striker as a priority. And Adama Traore only to go if it's a significant offer. Guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below on today's video. Be sure to hit the like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Don't forget to vote for us in the FCAs and a match review for the Nottingham Forest game will be out tomorrow evening. Until then, guys, I'll see you all very, very soon.